Hi everyone. So I was going to get ready so that I could go live, but then I thought, you know what, I'll just go live and get ready while I'm, um, while I'm live with everyone. <laughs> anyway, my brain's not thinking too straight right now. So anyway, right now, all I have is a little bit of foundation, um, but I'm going to put a second coat. So yeah, um, today is Monday, of course, because it's live Monday. What have you guys been up to? Hi, Stephanie. And there's someone in here named Mir. She says, hi, hi. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, guess get ready with you guys. I'm not going to do too much. Um, I'm getting ready so that after I go live, um, I can do an unboxing Hi, Grace. Good to see you in here. So right now I just used my Fit Me foundation in the color. I don't know. Let me look. Is it on the lid? Oh, it's number 210. I think everything on this phone is going to be backwards, though. I don't know. Hi, Laura. <laughs> Thanks for the compliment. Beatrice says, good morning. Good morning. So I'm just in my PJs right now. Good morning, Grace Rodriguez. Hi, Laura. So I'm just in my PJs right now. It says messy hair, don't care. And let me see if I can show you what the bottoms look like. The bottoms, um, actually, let me take you in over here then. There, there we go. I'm in the long mirror now. So these are what the bottoms look like and it comes with little um, socks, matching socks. So that's what I'm, that's what I'm wearing right now and I'm just, sitting here at my vanity. Um, let me see if I missed anything. I left the door open so in case Petrova wants to come in and chat with us. Um, Beatrice Aragon says good morning, good morning. Laura, already said. I already said hi to her. She says hi beautiful. Karen says hi. Hi Karen. Martha says glad to see you live. Hi Martha, glad you were in here to be live. Grace Rodriguez says, happy to see you live. Aw, oh, thank you. I'm glad you guys were able to make it in. I know that a lot of people watch it after the fact, but yeah, it's always kind of nice um, to be able to chit chat live and ask whatever questions you want to ask me. Um, so yeah, after this, I'm going to do an unboxing. I'm so excited for this unboxing. I thought about doing it live with you guys, but this is usually a little choppier looking. It's it's not as clear as when I film with my other Canon camera over here. So I want, because it's my first time getting this product, I want to have a nice crisp clear picture. So right now what I just got done doing um, before I started putting my makeup on, you guys are gonna be seeing a video about this really soon. I did the new face. There's Petrova. <laughs> Say hi to everyone. Hi. <laughs> we're all in our pajamas. Yeah, we all are. Look, we're all we're in our PJs. Pajamas. Yay. <laughs> so this is one of the pairs of pajamas that I that I bought for Finesse and my sister Laura when she was here. So we all have this pair. And then I also bought us all another matching pair. So I sent everything back with my sister because um, she couldn't. Bye. Because she bye. couldn't. Um, oh, she said bye too because she couldn't take everything with her. So yesterday, Adam and I um, filmed a video that I'll be trying to get up sometime this week, but it's in regards to the New Face Gold Trinity. I got it on sale. I've been wanting this for about a year, and I got it on sale, and it's so awesome because this particular Gold Trinity um, is special because it has 24 karat gold sphere heads, and it comes with 24 karat gold gel primer. The conducting primer and it also comes with some cleansing wipes and it comes with the carrying case so here are the cleansing wipes right here it comes with five here's the gel and here's the carrying case right here so adam and i did a video on this yesterday hold on a second Let me put this stuff back down um and so basically what it is is this device well normally it, it retails for like four hundred and nine dollars and when it's on sale it's usually for three something well i got it at an even better steal at two hundred and like forty five dollars or something like that about a week and a half ago and it just got in the it just got here in the mail 
like two or three days ago. It got here Saturday. Yeah, it got here Saturday, charged it up. And then Adam and I used it for the first time yesterday. And oh my goodness, guys, have you guys tried this? If you haven't, you have got to try to save up for one. They have a mini one that is cheaper. That's probably like 200 regularly. Um, but you can't do interchangeable heads with it. With this one, you can take this head off. And there's another one that has like two prongs that are good for the eye area. But basically what this is, is it's a microcurrent device. Let me read something to you guys real fast even though later you're going to end up seeing the video anyway but for y'all that are live right now let me tell you what it is it says what is microcurrent as we age our body's natural current begins to slow down just like our metabolism leading to sagging skin loss of contour and increased wrinkles microcurrent mimics and gently re-energizes this current to help improve contour tone and reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles and so i have seen such good results with this on lots of youtubers and the first time i ever heard about it i heard about it from angie hot and flashy um she has the regular one she doesn't have the gold one but she has the regular one and she when she first started on youtube she had really really bad hooded eyes and her hooded eyes are are looking really good very very diminished in comparison to when she first started and so right here I'm gonna read a little bit it says new face Trinity clinically tested and proven results it says 85% of users experienced improvements in facial contour 80% of users said their skin felt smoother 77% of users reported their face looked more toned. And so I'm going to tell you something. I used it yesterday, Adam and I did, for the first time right before I went to the Kingdom Hall. Um, and there's different ways to do it where you can do the, there's three positions. One, two, three, and different positions here, different positions here. And then the more advanced way to use it is to hold it in certain positions up to two beeps and then hold it. So I did all of that. I did the regular way, I did the advanced way, and I didn't feel anything really. You feel, when you first do it, you feel like, you know, kind of like when you're wearing socks and you're walking on carpet and you touch someone and you kind of feel a teeny bit of a zap. Well, it's even less than that is what you feel. Um, so it doesn't hurt at all, but when I was on, when I was at the Kingdom Hall and on my way back, it felt like I had a mask on my face. And you know how you, it gets kind of tight when you have a mask on and you feel like if you smile, you're going to crack the mask? That's how I felt. I felt like I felt like somebody had, I don't know, I've never had a facelift, but it almost felt like I had a facelift. And it was tight right here. It was tight right here to smile. I could only smile this much like that. I couldn't do a full smile because it felt really tight. Um, and it also... That reminded me of like when I did my chemical peel, the, that day and the next day, if your face feels really tight, that's how this felt as well. And then later on, after we got home from the meeting and we ate dinner and Adam and I are watching TV, it felt like I was doing this with my eyebrows. Felt like I was like holding them up because it totally felt like I was looking like this, even though I didn't look like that, it's what it felt like. So I have such high hopes for this um, little device here. It's my problem area. The reason I really wanted it is because is because of this. You see the shadows there, my jowls hanging down, and the skin is starting to hang right here too because of the jowls. That's my main problem area. That, and I have crepey skin on my neck right here, and so um, that's the other thing with this particular gold trinity device you can use it on your neck i don't think you're supposed to use the regular one with the silver sphere heads on your neck i think you're only supposed to use it on your face i could be wrong but from what i've read the the gold one that i have you can use on your neck and i was so happy about that because i have the crepey skin here and the jowls here that's pretty much my only complaint because i don't have a whole lot of wrinkles anywhere i have a few right here but um, yeah, but I'm going to be using it everywhere. And so I'm so excited about that. So anyway, I just went on and on about that, didn't I? And I'm going to finish putting my makeup on now. But if any of y'all have tried it, let me know and let me know what your experience has been with it. Grace says she's made my socks. Awesome. Sonia says hi. Hi, Sonia. 
Gray says, what color do you have on your nails? I don't have any color on my nails. They're just my natural nails right now. Um, Vima says, hi, Glamma. Hi, I'm doing good, Vima. How are you? And Madi says, hi, just made it. Hi, Madi. I'm glad you made it. Rebecca says, hello. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, Ruth. I'm doing good, Margaret. How are you? Hi. <laughs> Um, Teresa Ellis says, my mouth just flew open. Hey, my sister. <laughs> Hi, Teresa. Why'd your, mouth, why'd your mouth fly open? What are you talking about? Because of what I showed you or what? Um, Jasmine Jazz says, Hi, Glamma. Hi. Um, so what was I about to say, though, before I started getting all excited about the new face? Anyway, I've been wanting that for about a year. So I, um, Adam's been keeping track of it on Nordstrom. I had seen it on sale at Nordstrom two or three weeks ago, and I was debating, do I want to spend that money? Do I not want to spend that money? Even though I have, I, ha I had a brand new Nordstrom card, I just didn't want to, I didn't want to put it on the card. So I was debating. And then when I finally decided to buy it, I went on Nordstrom.com and it wasn't on sale anymore. I'm like, well, there you go. <laughs> it wasn't meant to be. But then Adam's been keeping tabs on it. And last week, like I said, he said, hey, it's on sale again. And so I went online real quick to go order it. And then I saw that they had the gold Trinity for the exact same price as the other one. And in my opinion, the gold one is better. It's upgraded because you can use it on your neck and it's 24 karat gold. And that, Adam explained it on the video yesterday, 24 karat gold on your face is particularly good um, to stop the breakdown of your collagen. It keeps the collagen in your skin, the elasticity and the plumpness of your skin. It's, it just helps with that so greatly. That and as well as your wrinkles. It's even better for your wrinkles than using the regular new face device. But anyway, um, okay. Oh, your mind open when you said Kingdom Hall. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, a, lo a lot of people on here because I've been on YouTube for about three or four years now. And so I've always been very open with the fact that I don't celebrate holidays. I'm a Jehovah's Witness. And a lot of times I've met a lot of our friends on here because in the beginning you could hear Kingdom Melodies playing in the background. So yes, hi, my sister. Um, Jasmine Jazz says, hi, I got you today live. Yay. <laughs> You've missed the last two. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm done with the foundation. What do I want to do now? I don't like seeing myself without eyebrows. Should I do my eyebrows already? Normally, I don't do my eyebrows first unless I'm filming because I don't, I feel like it frames your face when you do your brows. Let me find my stuff. I've moved everything around. Um, so let me do this and I'll try to get comments as I see them pop up. Put my hair back here. So if I miss your comment while I'm putting makeup on and looking in the mirror, copy and paste it and I'm sure I'll see it later. So I'm not going to do too much makeup. I'm going to do hopefully a very natural look because I'm going to stay in my pajamas all day. I am not going anywhere today. <laughs> so I don't think I missed a comment, right? Nope. Okay, so right now I'm just using my BH Cosmetics Flawless Brow Trio. My hand is still shaking a lot because I'm still, I'm still not a hundred percent. I'm actually still feeling the same, but eh. So the only other thing that's happened in regards to the pain in my shoulder is that I've gone. When was? It? Oh boy, here comes Petrova with the toy. I'm gonna have to close the door because Paris doesn't like that toy. Oh, okay. Did you take it away? Paris does not like that toy of Petrova's. It makes so much noise. And for some reason, Paris has issues. We rescued her. And so she's always had certain issues to certain noises and certain things. And when she hears plasticky noises like that, she freaks out. And so she would have just gone crazy barking and barking. So anyway, there's no other comments. Am I still alive? <laughs> But that's good because right now I can't really see the comments while I'm doing this. All right, so there's kind of sort of, I'm not going to do a real thick eyebrow because like I said, I'm going to try to stay a bit natural today. But there's a big difference. This side of my face is framed versus this side that just kind of, 
And right now they're a little bit tinted, so they're not as um, light as they usually are. Usually I look like an alien with no eyebrows at all. Um, yeah, so that's what I was going to start talking about, Jazz, is the last thing that I've done in regards to my shoulder pain is it's still there, but I don't know which day it was. It was one day last week. Thursday? Friday, maybe? Um, Adam stayed home from work, or he, actually he worked from home so that he could take me to my shoulder specialist appointment. And so um, we went and did that, and I was so afraid that he was going to, you know, not be upset. He's a doctor. I'm his patient. He's not going to get upset at me. But I thought he was going to be disappointed in the fact that my mobility wasn't much better than the last time he saw me. I had seen him four weeks prior, and he gave me exercises to do, and he gave me a cortisone shot in my shoulder. Oh, those shots hurt. Um, anyway, I went last week, and Adam went with me, and he was actually very impressed with my mobility because he says he, he saw what my mobility was four weeks ago, and he wrote it down, and so I showed him what I could do um, last week and he says wow he says a lot of times people come and they don't have any improvement whatsoever on their mobility he said so you've been doing your homework doing your exercises and I said yeah I've been trying to do them as much as I can and he says another reason that a lot of people don't have improvement is because they'll only do the exercise up to the point to where it hurts he says they don't want to hurt so they go they even stop before they feel the pain. And I said, well, what I've been doing is I've been going like up to here, it hurts. I said, I kind of been going a little further and just kind of grin and bearing the pain. I said, because I know that I need to stretch it out because it's frozen shoulder. And so he says, yes, I can really tell that you've been doing your homework and going beyond um, the pain level point. He says, just don't go too far. You don't want to overstretch it too fast. And I said, no, 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 I, I just do a little bit more. Like where the pain is, I'll just go a little bit further and just let it hurt a little bit. And I'll hold it for 10 seconds. And um, So that's what I've been doing. So he was very pleased with that. So I was happy because <laughs> I was afraid he was going to say, oh, I haven't seen much improvement. But he actually saw really, really good improvement. So that's good. So, okay. Um. I don't think I've missed any comments, have I? There's only 16 people in here. So that's kind of what's going on. And so the other thing that he did was he gave me another cortisone shot. Man, those shots hurt so bad. I don't think it leaves a bruise or anything. Let me see. Right there is where he puts the shot in. It's a really long needle, about this long, and it's really thick. And Adam said he was watching this time, and he said that he... Um, they clean it and then they put a spray on it, a numbing spray, and then they put the shot in. And Adam says he went in like this, put the needle all the way in and he squirted some medicine in there and then he backs it up and he went upwards and did the same thing. And oh, that is so painful. <laughs> but anyway, it, um, it doesn't hurt anymore. But for that day and the next day, I felt so bruised, even though there wasn't a bruise, but that shot is not fun. And so anyway, um, I'm hoping to be able to get even more mobile. See, this is actually, excuse me, quite high compared to how I could raise it before. I still have limited mobility when it comes to sideways. Like this one, I can go all the way up. This one, I can only go to there. I can force it a little higher now, but before I could only force it to there. That was forcing. Now I can force it a little bit higher before it starts shaking too much. Um, the part that isn't getting much better is you see how I can reach back with my good arm? With this arm, let me turn this way. With this arm, uh, that's as far as I can go. I can't reach up very high at all. So my mobility is very limited there. Where this one, I can go like this. This one, that's as far as I can do. So I'm still working on that. I've got exercises that hopefully, oh, that hurt now. <laughs> oh, and I wanted to let, um, who was it that was telling us? I know Sonia Garcia was, or yeah, Sonia Garcia and someone else was telling us, the first um, viewer was telling me about myrrh oil. 
And so Adam and now I'm shaking because I hurt because I, I was stretching. So now my hand is shaking a lot. Um, so Adam went ahead and went online and he found myrrh oil. And this one has jojoba oil in it. And it's 100% myrrh and jojoba in there. And then Sonia was telling me about frankincense. So we bought some frankincense as well online. Let me see if it's fo focus, focus, focus. Right there. There's the frankincense. And there's the myrrh oil. And I think we got them both for like maybe 10 or $15. I don't remember. I haven't tried them yet. I should try it right now that I just hurt myself. <laughs> um, but I want to try it for the first time with Adam so we can experience it together. Um, Madi says he seems like a great doctor. Yeah, he really is. Um, I really like this Dr. Dewey here in San Antonio. I really think he knows what he's talking about. I should have just gone to him first. If my first primary care physician would have actually taken the time to see what my mobility in my arm was, he probably would have referred me to the shoulder specialist instead of the cervical um, specialist because he, when I told him how much pain I was in, um, he said, it's probably cervical. And he just, you know, sent me to the other doctor. He didn't even examine me to see what my mobility was. I think had he done that, he would have known that it was shoulder related. And he would have sent me to Dr. Dewey automatically. I wouldn't have gone to Dr. Lou and um, gotten set up for surgery and gone and had the, you know, the, uh, what do you call it? I still have the spot right there. I don't know if you can see it. Let me see if I can find it right there. I still have the prick mark from when they put the IV in me. The bruise just barely went away. Um, Anyway, I wouldn't have gone through all of that, all through the surgery scare and not going through the surgery, but having the hair net on, the hospital gown on, the IV in my arm, and almost getting rolled into surgery. I could have avoided all of that if my PCP would have just examined me and seen that it was mostly shoulder related, because I think that's what it really is. Yes, I have bad discs in my neck. But that's not what's contributing to the shoulder pain. That's just a pain that I'm going to probably live with until I have to have surgery. Um, because I've been living with that for 27 years. And that's not excruciating pain. This is excruciating pain. So I just wish they would have sent me to Dr. Dewey first. Because he's awesome. And I really think he knows what he's talking about. So does Dr. Lou. That's why he didn't do the surgery. I just wish he would have pulled the plug on it a lot sooner before me actually going to the hospital and all that stuff. Anyway, I don't want to rant about that anymore. <laughs> Bima says, that's the reason I like you, Glamma. You are very strong. Ah, thank you. <laughs> um, Marlene says, good morning. Hope you and all have a Merry Christmas. Thank you. I don't celebrate Christmas or any other holidays, but I hope you guys have a great time. <laughs> um, Bima says, yeah, it's getting better. Madi says, I do see the improvement from last three videos. Oh, really? Awesome. Jasmine, yeah, you're a strong woman. That's that's why you impress me and I love you. Aw, you're so sweet. <laughs> I love you guys too. Belle says, good morning. Good morning, Belle. Madi says, no shots in the neck. No, no shots in the neck because that would mean that the cervical pain is what's causing the shoulder pain. So I'm not going to get the cervical shot because it's not, this pain is what I'm trying to alleviate right now. And so this pain has nothing to do with the cervical. I finally decided that's what it is. It's not cervical. Yes, I have cervical issues, but that's not what's causing this. And Dr. Dewey agrees with me. It's shoulder related. If we can get rid of this frozen shoulder, it might take a year. But if we can get rid of that, you know, he says a lot of people live with the cervical um, discs like that. And I says, yeah, I can live with that. I've been living with that for 27 years. That's not an issue. I could do anything and everything with the discs the way they are. So I'm so glad I didn't have the surgery. Um, but I'm so glad that Dr. Dewey was pleased with me um, with the with the improvement in my mobility. Because, oh my goodness, look at that. I can do that now, guys. <laughs> so excited. Um, but I still hurt quite a bit and I still shake a lot. And um, another thing Dr. Lou wanted to do is he wanted to send me to a neurologist to find out why I'm shaking so much. And I think it's because of my shoulder. Dr. Dewey, however, says that he's never heard of anyone having the tremors with frozen shoulder. But he says you've lost so much um, strength. He, he does strength tests with me. Every time he sees me, he has me go like this. And then he has me, he pushes in this way and I'm supposed to push outward. 
I, he can totally push me in because I have no strength in my arm. And I'm usually a very, very strong physically woman, not just internally strong woman, but I'm usually a pretty strong physical woman too. Even though I'm tiny, I'm actually pretty strong. And so I've lost so much strength in this arm and this one because they're both hurting, but this one hurts a whole, whole lot. Um, so this one I have virtually no strength in at all. Um, I even have a hard time holding up a glass plate, you know, a ceramic plate with this hand. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, and he does test like he'll have me go like this and he'll try to pull on my hand, pull it outward. And I have to resist him doing it. And with this hand, he can totally pull my hand. So he does a lot of tests and stuff. And um, but he hasn't heard of anyone having the tremors. But he says, because you've lost so much strength in your hand, you, you, you're shaking because you have even just to hold up my arm makes my hand shake because I have such little strength. So it makes a lot of sense, everything he's telling me. Um, Sonia says, if you look in Pinterest, you'll see what they're good for, especially the frankincense is good for your skin. Ooh, there's recipes on there. All right, I'll do that, Sonia. That's awesome. Thank you. Mari says, glad you didn't get them because I don't know if you remember from last time we discussed about it. I needed, you ended up with stiff neck. Yeah, you're the one that ended up with the stiff neck. Yeah. So I'm so glad that I found out about this stuff. You viewers are awesome. <laughs> you know, I need to finish my makeup, don't I? <laughs> I've already been on for 26 minutes and all I've done is foundation and brows. Um, my lips look pretty bad right now, but let me go ahead and do what I normally do. I'm going to use this little Morphe mini um, bronzer here. Oops, I just got a comment, I think. Your left hand also shaking. Um, I don't think so, does it? This is my left hand. Does it shake? Maybe. Yeah, it does a little bit, but not like this one. This one is so visible. And this is actually very, very minor right now. Usually, sometimes it gets really, really bad where it's so physical and so embarrassing. Um... Like I get really embarrassed when I'm doing makeup tutorials and I'm like this and I'm trying to do my eyes and it's so embarrassing. Um, but it was embarrassing before I started talking about it. Now that I'm talking about it, if someone sees my hand shaking, I'm sure they understand, you know. I should put y'all on this side because I the mirror is over here. So let me see if I can switch y'all. Ooh, but that side of the room is messy. I gotta. I haven't finished my room yet, so only this side of the room is finished because that's the side that shows when I'm filming. So I still have to finish my room, which I'm gonna do today. Yay. <laughs> um, let me see. Let me just keep y'all over here. And now I don't have you in the right position that I had you in. Oh well, this is good. So I'll just try not to put my hand in the camera in the in the way. All right, so this is just bronzer, just putting a little bit of color in my face so that I don't look flat, so that I look three-dimensional. So what have you guys been up to this weekend, this past weekend? So yeah, I'm just gonna do that unboxing today on camera. I might use my vlogging camera. I might not use my Canon. I might just use my vlogging camera, but either way, the vlogging camera is a lot crisper than when I go live. Um, okay, so I don't have any other comments, so let me just continue. Let me see. I'm gonna use, oh, I just saw a comment. Just chilling with the hubby. That's what you did this weekend, or that's what you're doing right now? So I'm gonna use this blush by Note. It's number 05 Desert Rose. I got it in a either a boxy charm or a beauty box. I don't remember. Hi, Adam. Adam says, hey, babe. <laughs> so yeah, I just thought I would get ready. I was gonna get ready and then go live, but I thought, no, let me just turn it on and talk to them while I'm getting ready. You gotta go to a meeting. All right, sounds smart. <laughs> all right, so that's all the blush I'm gonna do. Belle says, I had visits with my brothers and sister, one brother on Saturday and my brother and sister on Sunday. Fun. Oh, that does sound like fun. Um, Madi says, did oh you, you hung out with your hubby for the weekend and stayed at home and pizza night. Yes, we always have pizza night on Fridays too. So I think that's just 
a universal um, American thing where people do pizza and, and movies on Fridays, huh? <laughs> that's what we do anyway. And I've heard a lot of people say that's what they do. Okay, now I'm going to use my, um, it's, it's the Color Spark and it's a little Morphe Mini Highlighter. Um, so I'm just going to put a little bit of that on. Um, see, I just got a comment. I'm learning to make crochet dresses. Oh, that's cool, Vima. That's awesome. That was always my goal to learn how to really, really make clothes with, with crochet thread. Um, but I never really got there, but I'm not done with crochet. I'm still gonna crochet for myself. I'm just kind of done teaching it for now. That's awesome, congratulations, Vima. She says she got a few orders. Marlene says, I have been making a teddy bear for my grandchildren. I have 22 grandchildren. Oh, my word. <laughs> I feel like I have my hands full with five, and you've got 22. That is fantastic. That is awesome. I love my grandbabies. Mari says, oh, I see where you put the highlighter on. Yes, right here on the top. You don't want to put it over here where you might have texture on your skin. Like, I myself have pot marks right here and right here. So you put it up high on the cheekbones. And not everybody puts it here, but I put it right here because I like how it looks. Most people put it right here going this way. I put it here because I, I like the dewy, glowy look. And I put it right here on my Cupid's bow and I put it here. Just because anywhere that you would kind of get a little dewy looking if you were um, in the sun or something, that's where I put it. Um... She says, Mari says, I never know where to put it. It shows your pores. Yeah, you usually don't have pores up here. Usually your pores are here on your nose and here. So I don't really, I don't know. I, I put it mainly right here on the high part of your cheekbone where you don't really have pores. Okay, now what do I wanna do? I don't usually do my lipstick till the end, but I'm gonna do it right now because I don't like how pale my lips look. Uh, hi, Henrietta. She says, hi, Leticia. Just a real quick hi at the doctor's office today. Have a good day. You do the same, and I hope you're not at the doctor's office for anything too major. Um, so I hope everything goes well. Thanks for popping in and saying hi. So I'm just using um, Wet n Wild 98 Cent Lip Liner in the color Willow, just like our German Shepherds named Willow. And when I do, when I do my um, unboxing, I'm just gonna stay in my pajamas <laughs> for the video. Put that all over. When I'm being really lazy, I just do lip liner all over my lips and then I put a clear gloss. But today I actually am gonna use a color. I'm gonna use Maybelline 050 Baddest Beige. I love this nude color. Ooh, I just got it on my tooth. So that's that. Now I'm just gonna do something very light on my eyes. Actually, I'm gonna do what I've done in the past um, and I'm just gonna use my Morphe bronzer on my, on my transition area. And then I'm gonna use the highlighter on my lid. I'm gonna just be that simple because that's how lazy I'm being today. This is kind of my go-to look when I don't want to do anything specific or when I'm not testing out a palette. My um, go-to makeup is usually something as simple as this. Bonjour, Gabrielle. <laughs> she said, bonjour, Leticia. 
Vima says, sometimes I too use my lip liner as lipstick, yes. So that's all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in the transition area. And now that most of the product is off, I'm just gonna blend it upwards. So that we have a nice seamless look. Okay, we're, yeah. So, like I said, I'm just going to do that boxy charm, boxy lux. It's boxy charm lux. I've never gotten boxy charm lux. So, that's what I'm going to be filming right now. It's so awesome. I'm so excited about it. I'm still waiting for my regular boxy charm because you only get boxy charm lux um, quarterly, like every three months or so. And so, this is my first time getting it. I'm so excited. It came in the mail yesterday. Um, so I'm so excited to open it. I can't believe I've actually waited this long to open it. <laughs> that I'm being even as patient as I'm being. Because I want to use it. I want to open it so bad and start using it. So now I'm just putting the bronzer underneath here. Okay, that's all I'm doing with that. And now I'm gonna use the um, highlighter that I put on my cheekbones and I'm gonna put that um, on my lids. Let me find my brushes. Okay, first I'm gonna put that on the inner corner right here. I love that. This right here just opens up your eyes a lot. If you put it right here, it just makes you look so awake by putting it in the tear duct area. And then I'm going to kind of drag it inward a little bit right here. And then after I'm done with that boxy Lux unboxing, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to straighten up the rest of this room because it's just kind of weighing on me the fact that I need to finish it. Okay, I'm going to also put this right here under my brow. And on this side. So don't be shy if you have questions or comments or just want to chit chat, just go ahead. Mari says, I love BoxyCharm. I hope I get it for Christmas. I've been hitting, hinting, hitting at my husband. You mean hinting at your husband and daughters. That's awesome. I'm sure you'll get it. Um, and so, yeah, any of y'all that want to try it, just go down to my description box and um, you guys can use that code. And there's also, um, you can use that link to get you there really quick. Hey, Miriam. And then you can use the code that I have down there and it'll save you money. And I don't get any money from that code, but I think it earns me points where maybe I can pick out a product later. But this is how big the Boxy Charm Lux is. So I'm gonna be doing this unboxing later. Let me see if I can find the regular Boxy Charm size. Where's my other one? Let me see. Charity, what did I do with it? Let me see if I can find the other, the regular Boxy, Boxy Charm. I don't have one with me. I think I must have thrown the other box away after I got the products out. But this is actually pretty big. You know, here's reference. Here's my body. And so it's actually pretty big. And I think this one is going to come with like 10 items or so. Um, so anyway, I can't wait to open that. All right, what am I doing? Okay, now I'm going to use a flat brush. And I'm going to get my highlighter and put it on my lid. Yeah, so if y'all are interested in BoxyCharm, um, go down to that link down there and use that code and save yourself some money. And yeah, you can either do it month to month um, or you can do it three, like you can pay for three months in advance or six months in advance or you can pay for a year in advance. I just do it month to month just because I never know if I'm going to be strapped for cash one month. So I just do it month to month. I 
I think it's really awesome because my favorite items of makeup are eyeshadow palettes. I just love looking at the eyeshadow palettes. I love collecting them. Um, and so with every BoxyCharm box, your regular, your regular little box, the regular box is about this size. You always get a full size palette in, in that box. So that's all I'm going to do for my eyes other than I'm going to put a little bit of eyeliner on. Let me see if I missed any comments. Miriam says no English. Laura says, I'm interested in BoxyCharm. I need to learn more about it. Yeah, just go click on that link down below in my description box. You can either do it now or after we're done talking. And you can read, you can go on their website and learn all about it and copy and paste my code so you can save yourself some money if you decide to get it. Um, <laughs> Madi says, I'm going to have to put my glasses on because I can't see exactly what I'm typing. Oh, I definitely get that where you said hitting my husband instead of hinting at my husband. That was cute. Um, yes, I understood, Miriam. You say no English, you're Arabic. Madi says, oh my gosh, I love palettes too. I love palettes and lipsticks. Yes. Palettes because to me, it's like an artist drawing on an easel. They've got their little, their little, um, oh, what do you call it? Their palette. They've got their palette right there. And you see all the colors on there. To me, that's what an eyeshadow palette is just so beautiful to look at. Um, okay, so I'm done with that part. Now I am going to put a little bit of eyeliner on. I'm going to use my Wonder 2 pencil in black, and I'm just going to do, do a little bit as, um, as eyeliner on my top lid. Just a little bit. And then I'm going to put a little bit in my waterline. Like that. And I'm going to put a little bit in the tight line up here. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Yes, I do watch The Good Doctor. I love to watch that. I watch that. I watch, is it The Resident? I watch Grey's Anatomy. I watch Chicago Med. I love all doctor shows. I still have to learn how to put eyeliner on. <laughs> That's what Vima said. Just go back and watch all my videos. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna throw on some eyelashes. I don't speak Arabic. I'm I'm Latina, I'm not Arabic. Sorry, sorry, Miriam. So I can't speak Arabic to you. <laughs> do I look Arabic? <laughs> Sonia says, you look gorgeous like always. Oh, thank you. Um, I'm going to throw on some eyelashes. They're not too bold or anything. They're my, um, they came in my last, in my November's BoxyCharm. They're Lashaholic. I showed them to you guys. They're these right here. Um, they're kind of multi, multi-lengthed. Some are long, some are short, some are long. So that's what I'm going to put on right now. You love Grey's Anatomy, Stephanie? Vima says, still can't get it equal on both eyes. Um, hello, first time watching. Hi, Inez. Glad you're in here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put some duo um, eyelash glue on the lash. And then I'm going to just pop it on and hope that it stays on at least until I'm done doing the unboxing. 
All right, so let me let that get tacky and then I'll pop it on. So I'll be putting up another vlog probably this week too. See if I missed any comments. Nope. So okay, guys, I've been on for 45 minutes. I'm probably just gonna say goodbye. Bima says, "Wow, that's nice. What the eyeliner or what?" Um, let me just pop this on now. Or maybe you meant the eyelashes are nice when I showed you the eyelashes. Okay, so there's one on. Right there. Very, I think they're very natural looking. Okay. Madi says that she thinks that, that Miriam can put on Google Translate to help her. That's, that's nice for suggesting that, Madi. Okay, have a good rest of your day all, Belle says. Belle, was it you that was telling me about the myrrh oils? About the myrrh oil? Not myrrh oils, but the myrrh oil? Sounds like it was you that was telling me about that. Um, no, it wasn't? Okay, I don't remember who it was that was telling me that. Okay, I'm gonna do my other eyelash. Y'all want to start saying your goodbyes. I'll read your goodbyes here in a minute after I get this glue on here. Okay, I know I missed a comment. You mentioned about trying eyelashes. She says, okay, bye, Miriam. Lazuli missed it. Well, I'm not quite gone yet. I'm going to finish my eyelash and then I'll start saying goodbye. I've been on for 47 minutes, so that's quite a long time. You can go back and watch it later. <laughs> and then if you guys hit, there's something on the top when you're looking at my, at the video, if you don't make it full screen, if you just kind of leave it small, well, maybe not if you're on your phone, you can't do it. I don't know. But if you're on the computer, there's a thing up here where you can start you can hit that and it'll show what we chatted about during the live chat. So you can always do that. Even if you missed the live um, session, you can always watch our chat session later. All the comments that everyone left. You can always watch those later. Okay, so there they are, they're both on. Okay, there are my lashes. Okay, let me see if I missed any comments. Bima says, okay, glam all by, hope to see you soon, I'll be waiting. Looks hard to do the lashes. Oh no, not at all, it's so easy. I've got a video on my on my channel, um, you just have to um, just look for it where you'll probably see my eyes really close up where it's how to apply eyelashes. The main thing is just to put the glue on, let just wait, let it get tacky for about 30 seconds, and then you just pop it on. What I do is I pop it in the middle, and then I put the corner up, and then I put this corner up, and then you just kinda, that's it, that, you're done pretty much. So it's super, super simple. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna go ahead and um, do my Boxy Lux unboxing. And then I'm going to finish my room a little bit. <laughs> um, and then I am going to edit some stuff to put up this week. Alrighty, so I had fun chatting with you guys. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up before you leave. And don't forget how much I love you. And don't forget to love yourselves and everyone you come in contact with. All right, let's be kind to everyone. All right, I love you guys. Bye. Adios. Besitos.